Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome back to San Myshuno. We are once again back in the Fashion District area, back at this gorgeous specimen's apartment. Today, we have the hallway to furnish, the bedroom slash office, and also the bathroom. So let's get to it. Hello, my darlings. Happy Thursday to everybody, and welcome back to Let's Build... Worlds. <laughs> Sounded really American then, didn't I? <laughs> the worlds. <laughs> anyway, hello. Samson's apartment, the final part, is here today as it is. Uh, thank you all so much for all of your wonderful comments last time. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go through and answer and um, read all of them, but I will be doing that after I finish recording this today. So don't you worry, I will go back and check them all out. So, this is what we have to furnish today. We've got this area here. So, obviously, bathroom, hallway, and the kind of office slash um, bedroom. I think I'm going to use this here, which is what I pulled out last time, and kind of, like, do a little bit of a separating moment from the office to the bedroom. I'm thinking about putting in, like, a... What am I saying? Putting in a desk here, but also maybe that archaeology table around here somewhere which in turn maybe I can move that up just a little bit more of a smidge like that so we've got a bit more room there to play with. Um, with some shelves and more trinkety bits up on the walls and stuff around there. And then this is just going to be his bedroom and he dominates the bedroom. Just saying. Just saying. You know, I'm thirsty for a bit of Samson, darling. Um, and I, I, I won't lie to you, I absolutely am. Um, and I've, yeah, as I said, not much in this hallway. Nothing can really go in here. I'm thinking like maybe a mirror up around here, maybe something on the wall. Uh, and the bathroom is just going to be pretty generic as well. I'm not, I'm going to go down the route of how we did the kitchen, like that kind of like modern vibe. Uh, and maybe hit it here and there with a few more kind of like personality details. But yes, glad that you enjoyed this last time. I really did. I just wish this was longer. I have really enjoyed furnishing um, Samson's apartment. Um, it's just been a bit nice to do something a little bit different rather than the kind of like contemporary stuff we've been doing recently. Um, and, and that's because of where we've been in, like the apartment blocks and stuff, you know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, and also another thing, I want some ideas off of you guys. What do you want me to put down here? I've had a few ideas about what I want to do there. A nightclub and make it into like a karaoke bar and stuff. That could be good for this area. Um... What else? What was my other thing that I wanted to do down there? Oh, a coffee shop. I really, I thought that would be a great place for like a coffee shop. Like maybe that, I don't know, a cafe. So let me know what you think I should do down there. Uh, and we'll get starting on that after this, actually. I think we're going to go and do that because I'd like to get this built up for when I do my kind of like little, um, kind of like videos and when I show you where we are in the fashion district. It's just a bit weird, this big like blank green space. So I think we're going to move on to that next next week at some point and get that finished. That's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Anyway, let's go. So we need a desk. We do need a desk. I'm not going to use any curtains in this room either. I'm not for it. Samson is loves to get out. It, just get his kit out. Get his kit off and walk around. That's just Samson isn't in a nutshell, to be honest with you. Uh, that's a bit too modern for Samson. I think he would go for... Um, something a little bit more, maybe classic, uh, but I mean, this one here could be a vibe. It kind of looks well-traveled. I don't know why, but this, whenever I look at this test, it looks like someone who's got like lots of, lots of things to do and they've seen places, you know, that's what comes to my head when I see that anyway. Oh no, that one's a bit too small. I always go for this one, but I just forget how tiny it is. Uh, this one here probably comes in the shittest swatches known to man because it's from high school years. Oh, actually, that's not too bad, but not for here. Or even... Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? I think I'm going to do this and then put shelves up in the background instead. Can we have a bit of a different colorway here, though? I like that rich color, but I just think it needs to be... Oh, maybe something like that. I think this one needs to also change. Um, I don't want to go too orange with it, though. Oh, I like the green, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the green... And I'm going to keep this. I don't want to go for that color. No, I like that one. I like how patchy it looks as well. Let's do this. So I'm going to flop you right next to the window here. I think in having it in that kind of orientation with also, also that archaeology table next to it there. 
and then he's got like free space where he can look out and perv at all of the where well, anybody walks past you know i'm very much feeling samson um you guys had some really wonderful stories i'm looking forward to going back and reading some more uh after so yes anyway we need a chair we'll use this one here storylines we we'll use this one here because this was off of a light aircraft that crashed into the andes when samson was on board everybody survived you're gonna be okay but he took this away as a bit of a memento just to like appreciate life and grab um life by the hips and absolutely go to town on it <laughs> why am i why am i such a slut well you know why not to be honest with you why fucking not to be honest so um, i'm probably not feeling a desktop for samson because he's just, like he travels quite a lot I reckon I, I think I'm going to give him a really like fancy um, laptop instead. We'll go for that one. But what I've been thinking is I'm going to need him to like sort of edit vlogs and stuff. So I think as much as I hate this object, I just, I just, I don't hate it. I just, it's so bulky and it takes up so much room. Yeah, look at the size of it. I really wish we could just do it off of like, you know, the other like PCs that we've got with the mics and stuff on it. Like just do in front of those but because uh, i'm gonna need that because he's gonna need to get paid he's gonna need to get some kind of money and um, so i really need to put this in this room somehow i don't know how the hell we're gonna do this because it's bloody massive but let me see what i come up with i need i need to get my thinking cap on we're just gonna have to go with it because it just it i really need it for the storyline purpose really more than anything um, so what I'm going to have to do though is just try and fit this in a little bit better because that point is going through that window there um, and that should be absolutely fine. Yeah, that's cool. I'll make sure to upgrade everything as well. I also pulled out the archaeology table for him, which I'm going to put in his background. I think that might be a nice little background there. Can I do two of these or would that be weird? Let me see. No, there's too much of a squidge. Too much of a squidge. Never mind. That still separates the room off quite nicely. Um, so I'm fine with that. Fine with that. I also pulled out this here. I pulled out this here and I'm going to use these all above the uh, actual station themselves. Sorry, I needed a hiccup then, but I, I held it together. I held it together. I think I'm going to do three and I'm going to just change the colours of them. Why are you... What? I'm going to move these up with the tool mod. I think it's because I've sized them down. Um, okay, elevate. If I can just elevate you, my darling, a little 0.2. Let's see where you go there. Stunning. That was perfect. Thank you. All I wanted. Beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is just change a few of them out. Oh, I don't really like that one. And yeah, like that. I do want a little bit of gold, though. So maybe we should. Yeah, do you know what? We'll do it. Why not? Bit of that, bit of that. Something that is found on one of his archaeology, archaeology of the little digs. <laughs> nailed that. Did you hear that? Fucking nailed that, love. So I really did. Very proud of myself. Okay. Um, I do want to get a wardrobe in here. I don't think that's the wrong space for a wardrobe there. So I think we need something like a bookcase with some kind of storage over there too. A rug down here for definite. Um, this is where the bed's going to go. So I think what I want to do first is pick a really good bed or the bed that I need. And it's got to be this island living one, I can imagine. And I reckon he makes good use of those sheets that hang down there as well. <clears throat> Just saying. They're wrapped around there, but they could also be wrapped around your wrists, loves. You know? Just saying. Just saying. Absolutely just saying. <laughs> oh, the only problem with that is that we've really really tight for a wardrobe here so it might have to be oh, i did want him to have like some kind of like oh we can maybe put this out here oh we could we can put that over here for storage i might change the color of that in a minute um so in here we could like fit in a couple of wardrobes or even just one like a slidey wardrobe like this the thinner one should be able to get through there no problem yeah, I'm going to do it. Not really feeling that wood in here for some reason. But I think that's all we've got because the rest are just those colours that make me angry. And the darker ones are not going to work. We'll keep it that colour. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. 
I'm going to flop you into there. I think we should have more storage over on that side there as well. So maybe even like some shelves or something up there. Um, something up here as well. I think I need to find just some trinkety bits to detail this place up a little bit more, including some rugs. So let me go and grab them. So this is what I did. I pulled out some the base game bookcase, put that over in the corner there. I just think it looks like it's laden with stuff there. And I, I really like that. I really like that for this kind of vibe we're going for in here. Changed out the wardrobe as well. The wardrobe was just not working for me. It was looking very strange. and I didn't like that either. I pulled out some more pictures of his travels and stuff. Photos that he's taken himself. He's got a really high photography skill. and um, Maximum photography skill, actually. Um, kind of wanted that to be um, apparent with him. A little rug down here. Some plants over by this window area. Did I do anything else around here? No, didn't. Um, the bed, obviously, and then I put on a little stool with that little, like, lamp over in the corner there and some books down on the other side. And some suitcases to make it look like it's been, you know, travelling constantly and whatnot. And also using that big mirror in here as well. I just think that kind of, like, sets into that room nicely. And I also use the same lights as what we've used out in the kitchen area in the bedroom, too. But I think that just tells a bit more of a story. I'm still a bit pissed off at this desk, like, moment, but I need that for gameplay. Just saying, you know, sometimes you've just got to take one for the team and not go for aesthetics. Okay, so I've pulled out this. I'm not really feeling those colours. I think we need to go maybe a little bit more semi-natural with them, to be honest. Um, Yes. Yeah, those there. Stunning. And then I'm going to pop up this wonderful object that I have so much use out of in lots of builds um apart from when it's floating damn you i'll move it down don't you worry with the tool mod i think that would work well in there again just looking like it's, this is a, a place for him to just store his stuff while he is traveling and it's always nice to have a base you know a base of operations shall we say um so yeah kind of vibe with that and i think i'm going to do another mirror i think i'm going to use this one here out here here out here and I think I'll flop it over into that corner there. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that there. Beautiful. Do I want to put anything else up on the walls and stuff here? I think, actually, what I would like to do is maybe use some of that um, clutter stuff. And maybe clutter this area up here. Using this wonderful object that I use all the time now. But I just love it. It comes in so bloody handy. We'll flop you to there. No, I can't put anything on that wall because the door's going to, like, just knock it off. Uh, but maybe... Mm, I was thinking about maybe those bags as well. Like, the, these here. But what about if I did them in, like... Yeah, like shopping bags. Let's do that as well. Stunning and stunning. It's very high, though, isn't it? <laughs> I might just put it up above here. Move that down just ever so slightly. Then he can grab that off. Yeah, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine it is. And he does love a rug, does our Samson. So I'm thinking of putting another little um, rug out in this area. But I'm going to go for this one because this comes in so many gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous swatches. I'm going to use this one here and bring it in and flop you over by the door like that. Yes. Oh, definitely. I reckon this, this um, house, house. I reckon this apartment smells like really heavy incense. It's got a really heavy incense kind of smell to it. That's what's in my head with Samson. And I reckon he smells gorgeous as well. <gasps> oh, I bet he does. I bet he smells bloody gorgeous. <laughs> Look at me perving on Samsung. I mean, I've not stopped, have I? I have not stopped. Um, minus 0 0.05. Let me see if that, how far that will go down. That was perfect. Lovely job. Yeah, cute. Okay. Yeah, stunning. Very much happy for that. Happy with that, even. So, I want a bathroom. I want a bathroom in here now. And as I said, it's going to be a very ge generic looking bathroom. But I might hit it here and there with maybe some objects. I don't, I don't know what we can put in here to bring his personality forward, to be honest. But we'll give it a bloody good go. So, I don't think we should do a full bath. I think we should do a shower room. But I wouldn't mind like a cubicle shower in here instead. Because I don't tend to use them very much because they're shit. Just don't like them. Just don't like them. Absolutely don't like them. So if I'm going for a black accent, 
Can we go a little bit lighter, actually? We could go for a white accent in here. Yeah, let's do that. And then what I'm going to do is tuck that in to the wall itself. Can I go to like there? I think that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then what I could do is bring that door a tad more along to there. I could put the sink in over on this point here and then the toilet here. Yep, that'd be fine. Um, And because it's a new build, let's use one of the like fancier toilets. So let's use this one here, I think. Yes. One where you can wash your bum. Did you wash your ass today? <laughs> that TikTok makes me laugh every time. Every time I see it. Did you wash your ass today? <laughs> People out there who don't have TikTok like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think that one will do, actually. Is there a black version of this? Like a white and black version? I mean, that one. I, ho I was hoping for the taps to change colour, to be honest. Eh, we'll go for that anyway. It's fine. So I do want a mirror at this point as well. I do want a little cheeky mirror. Do I want to go for like a circle, like modern one? Or should we have some kind of storage in here? Hmm. In fact, let's do that. Let's do some storage. I'm going to use the black one. I don't like that black for some reason. There we go. That black also looks like really weirdly like blue black to me. That swatch. And if it's just me, I'll show you. I'll show you so you know what I'm on about. I didn't really have it out that much. Do you see what I mean? It kind of looks like blue black, like charcoal. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. Yeah, there we go. So he's got some storage in there. Um, I want to get personality in for him. But what I think I need to do first is just get in the other bits that we do need, which includes the toilet roll, obviously. Plop that up to here. Um, A lovely little, just plain, very plain um, towel holder. We'll go for the complete and utter white one. In fact, let's go for the black. Let's bring a bit of that in. Gorgeous. Now let's get a bit of him in here. So maybe like a wicker, like mat or rug in here. Like a little circle one. If I could, because that, that, that would just be his vibe. Yeah, maybe not in that colour though. Let's try a different colour. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll keep the spotlight in here as well. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm thinking something up here. Maybe some kind of shelving something. And then lots of photos and pictures out on the wall here, maybe. Oh, actually, I've just thought. Do you know what would be the perfect one? That one from Paranormal. Oh. That would be that was that was that's him. The T, you know? Travel loves. Let me just have a look at the other swatches. Um I kind of prefer the mixed, I think. I think that's a bit more him. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, I'm into that. What about... Did it come with this one? Decorations? Oh, this could have been... This could have been put somewhere quite lovely. Oh, there we go. Perfect place for hit. For hit? Perfect place for hit. Yeah, that's the perfect place for it up there. Stunning. Okay, bit of personality there. Stunning, stunning, stunning. A little towel. I think that's it, to be honest. I do, I think that's it. We are done. We are done. I'm quite sad to leave this. It's just such a short little build. But I just really enjoyed the sim. As you well know, I've been perving on him for the last two days. Anyway, let's get into uh, lift mode and have a little tour around. Well, here we are out in the hallway that looks like we could get murdered uh, in any second. So let's get inside. <laughs> just don't like it there don't know why anyway into the little main entrance we've got samsung over there i did put him in his underwear because well i'm a slag to be honest with you and i'm absolutely for it to be honest um so yeah little hallway trinkety bits everywhere into the main little living room and kitchen area he is absolutely living his life he's got his music on um i've put some incense on here as well just look at it it's i'm very much for it he's got a little drink platter up there as well I reckon he's up there getting a bit flirty on some kind of chat site. But I mean, hello. Do you know what I mean? Daddy, as far as I'm concerned. But that music is on one, isn't it? But um, yeah, I'm really happy about this game together. A little kitchen area as well, obviously. And it's got a nice big dining area right next to the windows. Great view from here. Very, very much for it. And then you come through this way. Through this way. 
into the bedroom slash kind of like office area. So he's got everything that he would need in here to keep his vlogging going, shall we say. I'm also going to make sure to upgrade everything, like the lights and stuff, before I put this, well, before I save it into the save file. Um, but yeah, archaeology table, little uh, wardrobe around here, and then a little bedroom moment going on here. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. And then obviously what we just finished off with was the bathroom. The bathroom, very generic, very boring, but isn't on all bathrooms. I think what we're going to do is leave it on um, this shot because we're not going to get to see him um, for very much further. We should make him, oh, we should, we should make someone who he could date. Oh, yes. Maybe someone who's interested in travel as well and they can fall in love and travel together. <gasps> Storylines. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my loves. Now, I will say, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a video out tomorrow. I'm saying maybe now. Keep an eye on my Twitter. Um, I will let you know over on my Twitter if I can get a video up or not tomorrow. Because it's just going to be me and Daisy all day tomorrow. So I need to see how that routine is going to go and try and find the time to finish off what I've already done. But if not, I will be back next week anyway. I'm also live on Twitch tonight playing The Outlast Trials, which is the new horror game from the Outlast universe. I'm going to be pooing my pants um, along with a couple of friends if you do want to come and join me. 7 p.m. BST. Next week on the channel, as I said, things might be a little bit flaky. I might not be able to do the full four days that I usually do every week. But I am in the midst of renovating the Land Grab Mansion. And I'm going to be getting that out at some point next week too. So be on the looks out for that, my darlings. Anyway, I adore you all. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me some lovely comments. And I'll see you all when I see you. Goodbye.